We now want to start cutting our rods here, which you know there's a few little tricks to it. Now, um, when doing our wheels just at the bottom here, what we want to do is actually thread this through first. All right, we want to thread it through first. Hold on. Might take a little bit. Thread it through like so. Give it a bit of a twist. Then what we want to do is just so we get the right length, we want to put on the wheel, as you can see just there. Maybe push it through a little bit more because what we want to do is make sure there's about, you know, you're looking for something like this, about a mil sort of sticking out. Let's maybe push that back a little bit. There, you know, that looks about just about spot on just there. Then we fed through our next wheel. All right, so now we know where to cut. Now, when it comes with the cutters, right, what's going to happen is um, the direction, the which way we sort of cut them with the cutters depends upon where we get the nice flush finish and where we get the sort of like pointy cut in it. So, um, having this side. Right, this side of our pliers facing our piece that we want to be all nice. Right, and just double checking, we have got like about a mil. Doesn't matter if we're over, if we're over with this sticking out, not a big deal. We can sand it down. If we're under, we're a bit screwed. We need to get some more wire. Right, so maybe always best to maybe just cut it with a bit of excess, just enough room for you to kind of do a bit of sanding, maybe. So I'm about to cut this now, and I'm just being careful because this end's probably going to shoot off. And then hopefully as you can see there, I've just cut that, I'll bring you in, and as you can see it's a nice clean cut, right, but if I pick up a little piece here, right, you can just see um, it's not a clean cut, it's got like some cut marks to it. So again, we need to go off, get out our file, sand this bit down, ready for the next bit. Now we're going to glue the gun barrel. Now, um, there are two ways of going about this with what glues to use. Uh, just to kind of explain a little bit when it comes to gluing. Super glue dries obviously really, really quickly, but it also means that um, you've, if you kind of don't place it right quick enough, and maybe in fiddling around with it, the glue can go off and it can glue in a bit of an awkward position. Also, um, if you get a little bit of a blob on there, it's gonna dry and you're gonna have this sort of a blob on your piece and it looks a little bit nasty after you've sprayed it. Um, but then we have PVA glue. PVA glue is something I'm gonna show you now where right, we can take all the time in the world. I mean, what we wanna do here is basically um, put this little rod in there, right? which by the way, I've, I've done what I've just done with the, the bottom two pieces of rod with the wheels, I've just sort of placed it on there, got it around about the right size, and then cut it with the pliers. And what we want to do is have this glued into position where it's like bang in the middle, if we sort of focus a bit. Right, so what we're going to do is get in a bit of our Pouvier glue, again we can get the cocktail sticks, and what we can do, we can get a nice blob of this and try and just sort of push it in here, either side. As you can see, I can make a mess and I can take my time as well. I mean, we could even put a little bit on the rod itself. And this is kind of like the beauty of PVA glue. We can take our time, we can mess about, we can play with it. I can now feed this through, right, then what I can do is I can get myself a cotton wool bud, right, and all this oozed out glue, we can now clean up, right, so make it a little bit moist, and we can just wipe off this PVA glue, that looks a little bit messy, we can wipe it both sides, top, bottoms, anything that's anywhere, we can just clean that off, hopefully as you can see, and then all the only glue that's now around this is what's inside. So then, you know, we've got the time to now play around and make sure that is in the perfect sort of position. Remember, nice 90 degree angles, 
right along with it being the same length either side and we can play around with this for a fair bit of time and then once we've got it in that position which I think we're sort of pretty much there if I kind of stop playing with it there we go I'm happy no no just a smidge I'm playing here uh, but there you go nicely in position the only problem with PVA glue is we've probably got to leave that for about half an hour to probably properly dry so we've got to leave it all right so it's kind of down to your confidence right um, super glue it'll be nice fast quick we can move along with the build um, but if you're not getting in position quick enough or you get a blob on it uh, it's going to look a bit of a mess PVA glue, safe for bet, you're going to be able to clean it up, cotton wool buds, um, it's going to be nice and perfect, no sort of mess, but you're going to have to let it dry. Totally up to you, the kind of route you sort of go down. Got another little piece here that we need to cut, right? It's um, just a tiny little bit of wood, uh, which is the camera's having a bit of problem focusing on. And what we need to do is cut this sort of really sort of nice into a sort of this shape i'll just show you one that i've already done focus please there you go just there just below the gun at the back um it looks like a little peg of sorts a little door stop kind of shape so i'm now going to sort of cut this with a blade and this is going to be the shape we're after it's a little bit sort of tiny for you guys to actually see so i'm just going to cut it and then sort of show you the shape which probably won't end up being the shape it's going to end up being because we're potentially going to have to modify it a little bit oh, and that one's accidentally sort of split but uh, no worries I'm not too too bothered but basically this is the shape if I can sort of try and get this to focus on camera this small piece focus camera Hold on. This kind of shape, this is what we're sort of after, right? This is a piece we want to get rid of, and this is a piece we want to keep, right? Um, so basically, what you've got is a little bit of a flat end here. It doesn't go straight to a point. I don't know how hard it's to pick up, um, but it doesn't go to a, a straight flat. Maybe I should kind of draw it on a bigger picture. That's the shape we're after, sorry it's on a kitchen paper towel, but it it's not, doesn't come to a point down here, hopefully as you can see, you want it to have a little bit of a flatness to it, but that's the shape you want to be cutting it into. I know it's quite small, a little bit hard to do, um, yeah, but you should get there with a bit of practice. And then what we want to do, and this is where we might have to, even with this small piece, and I'm trying to find the one I've done right, there we go, uh, with this small piece, this needs to go just at the back like so it's going to sit where the the flat part let's move this maybe out of the way the flat parts just going to sit on there and then the the bit that's at an angle if we can focus sorry this is kind of like small stuff um, and that's the part that's go faces up but what we want to do is this is what's going to lift the gun up so if we place the gun here like so what this little peg does, and we might need some little tweezers just to maneuver this around. Right, what it does is gets the gun to be sort of nice and parallel, but maybe you can sort of see the gun is actually sort of sticking down a little bit. If I just maybe move this out the way, we want it so that the gun is nice and parallel like that not sticking up or not down like that nice and parallel so um, that there as I already could see was sticking down a little bit so getting my little piece out I'm now going to try and get you guys to focus on camera a little bit I'm now going to get this little piece right and what we want to do is be sort of just a very light little shave and you could use a blade you could use a sanding stick but just enough just to lightly shave it off nice and flat All right now it's best that you um, cut and shave off a little bit at a time test fit test fit test fit 
um, rather than let's cut a big chunk off see if it fits and then before you know it the gun's sticking up again um, and then what we can do is once we're happy with the shape I've just shaved that a little bit I'll put my gun back on and then I just want to see how that's sitting um, and that does look like maybe I could shave a little bit more off it's maybe slightly sticking a bit down than it should be maybe it could just come up a little bit but it's just sort of you know test fit test fit you know get those angles right and then it's just a simple case of gluing that piece into place 